There's a saying in the internal arts that where the mind goes, the chi flows. It's meaning that wherever your mind is directed, the chi flows there as well. But the problem is that most people, when they start practicing internal arts like qigong, sexual kung fu practices, they're very disconnected from their bodies and they have a difficult time actually bringing their mind into their bodies. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can manifest your ideal life. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I release new videos. Make sure you get my free ejaculation control course through the link in the video description below. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to circulate energy in your body, whether that's your regular you know, chi that's moving through the channels or your sexual energy. So I'm up in the mountains of Montana. As you can see, I've been spending the past several days here uh, on a bit of a intensive training retreat. I wanted to share some of my own insights on how to circulate energy in the body, how to actually actually do it, right? Versus just maybe thinking that you are not really being certain, right? So there's many, many ways of circulating energy in the body, but the fundamental principle I'm going to share with you today is the mind guides the chi. There's a saying in the internal arts that where the mind goes, the chi flows. It's meaning that wherever your mind is directed, the chi flows there as well. But the problem is that most people, when they start practicing internal arts like qigong, sexual kung fu practices, they're very disconnected from their bodies and they have a difficult time actually bringing their mind into their bodies. And what they do is often end up kind of doing a visualization type thing where they kind of imagine and visualize that they're you know sending something to part of the body but in reality nothing is really happening so it's a process of literally bringing your mind anchoring your mind to fill the space of your physical body because we live in such an externally oriented culture you know it's it's all about what's happening out here we're always paying attention to the external things what's on my phone uh, what am I hearing what is this person saying what's happening in the news all of our attention is going outside of our body and for most people the only time they actually bring their mind within their body is when they feel pain or maybe when they're having sex, you know, feeling something pleasurable, right? But other than that, most people are very disconnected. Uh, their mind is more kind of in this cloud up here and not very well anchored within the body. So a big part of this is learning to feel what's happening in your body. And Qigong and meditation practices are really, really great tools for developing this consciousness of literally feeling your body, bringing your mind into your body. So in the internal arts, this is often known as Ting Jin, T-I-N-G-J-I-N. And this translates to listening energy. Now, what does that mean? You know, are you trying to hear the sounds of your energy and this is often confusing for a lot of people who are sharing these arts so rather than listening it's more of a it's more of a feeling right uh, listening implies it's kind of a passive thing like you're receptive so by bringing your mind within your body filling the space of your physical body with your mind you start to feel more and you start to bring more of your mind into the body that will start to increase the amount of chi that is moving through your body you're going to start feeling chi a lot more so feeling is number one you must be able to feel your body and once you start feeling your body you know this mind body connection starts to deepen then by simply moving your mind in a sweeping motion you can start to move energy so this is the whole thing of visualization versus actually having this internal engagement where your mind is in your body and it's directing the energy this is a completely different thing and circulating energy and sexual energy obviously there's many reasons for doing this right circulation of energy provides uh, a smooth flowing current of chi through the body, which is good for our health. And, and, you know, working with, for example, the microcosmic orbit, maybe some of the other eight extraordinary meridian channels, there's these orbits within the body, there's orbits that go, you know, connecting the body to the external environment. There's a lot of possibilities here, right? But I'm gonna keep it simple in this video. So basically, for example, moving chi through the microcosmic orbit, what you can do is simply place your awareness you know, maybe start in the Dantian Center or at the perineum, and then just sweep your awareness up the back of the body. Imagine, and now when I say imagine this, I'm not saying visualize this, but feel. It's kind of this quality of like, what if there was water moving up your back? What would that feel like, right? And so by anchoring your mind, you can almost create that similar quality by bringing the mind within the body in that sort of fluid motion from the base of the body up to the crown and then back down the front of the body as well. This sweeping of your awareness, feeling the space. And simply by doing this, you will start to increase the flow of chi in the microcosmic orbit. You'll smooth out the circulation. But the thing here, and this is what is a bit of a barrier for people, is that Maybe you don't feel anything when you do this. Maybe you feel a very, very slight sensation. You feel a bit of tingling, a bit of warmth, you know, something, but you're like, okay, but I feel like I should be feeling this profound, you know, electrical type of sensation. So this is where we get into Dantian work, right? Dantian work is extremely important if you want to have, we could say a profound energetic experience. It's not completely necessary if you just wanna like, you know, increase your chi a bit. If you wanna just, you know, circulate some, your energy a bit more and have non-ejaculatory sexual experiences, right? But if you're serious about really cultivating energy, I highly recommend Dantian work because when you're doing these type of energy circulation practices without first accumulating energy in the Dantian, which 
takes several months and even years, it's like trying to drive your car without any gas in the tank. The amount of chi in your Don Tian is basically the gas that's in your tank, right? And so when you go to circulate your chi, you don't have very much, so it's not going to give you a very tangible feeling. By building the Don Tian with Don Tian work, you're increasing your supply of chi, and then when you move and mobilize that chi, it's pressurized to a level where you start to feel it. It starts to affect your physical body. It becomes very tangible. Then it becomes like this electrical circuit moving through your body. It's very obvious and apparent. There's no denying it. This is not a subtle thing. It's like, yes, there is this force moving through my body. I feel it as real as if someone hooked me up to a 10,000 volt battery. I will say that it took me a couple years to get to that point of this very substantial energetic experience with the Dantian, right? So that's a little bit of a side note here, but I think that's very important. Check out my Dantian breathing video for a specific technique to start building your Dantian. So again, it's this sweeping of awareness through your body that starts to guide the chi. And the more practice you do, the more you integrate your mind and your body and really permeate the body with your mind, which takes practice. You know, again, it's going to be very numb in the beginning. There's going to be areas of your body that you can feel a lot more tangibly. Most people can feel their hands pretty well because they're always using them, but maybe their back is really numb in their mind. Maybe their whole torso is pretty numb in their mind, right? Maybe their legs are numb. So it takes some practice of really bringing the mind into the body. And again, Qigong is wonderful for this. And just in general, sweeping your awareness through the body, really absorbing the mind into the body like liquid filling up a sponge. This is a practice within itself. And in another context, let's say you want to move sexual energy through your body. So you absorb your awareness into the genitals, right? Like absorb them. Again, it's like liquid filling a sponge and then move with your mind, just simply sweep your mind in emotion, maybe like a wave from the genitals up to the head, genitals up to the head. And a lot of people get caught on this concept of you must do it with the breath in a certain thing. Like, you know, a lot of teachers say, oh, you must inhale as you move up the back channel, exhale down the front. If you don't do that, if you breathe in the wrong way, it's going to go wrong. Your energy body is going to blow up. You know, you're going to get sick, you know, <laughs> these kinds of things, right? You'll see different systems teaching completely different things. In my experience, it actually really doesn't matter. The breath is not necessarily directly connected to the energy. It's a good kind of training tool in the beginning because the breath is this very tangible thing that's easy to work with. It helps you anchor your mind in some kind of cyclic function of your body, right? But the truth is that getting really hung up on the breath actually becomes a limitation in the end because the energy transcends the breath. It's not the breath. It is a subtle, almost breathing type of process, but it doesn't have to necessarily be directly connected to the breath. So in the beginning, yes, you may inhale as you do the sweep up the back of the body, exhale as you sweep down the front, but then you can play with forgetting about the breath and just sweeping the energy. And eventually you'll find that it's just as effective, right? So you don't become too rigid and like fixed on certain physical engagements that you feel like you must do uh, in tandem with the energetic engagement because it actually really doesn't matter once you develop the skill. So for example, circulating chi through the microcosmic orbit. Yes, there's hundreds of techniques to do this, but it can be as simple as sweeping the mind through the orbit. You focus in the perineum area, move it either very slowly or more quickly up the back of the body, the sweeping of awareness up to the crown, sweeping down the front of the body. Something else you can do is take your hand and kind of rub up the back of your body down the front to increase your body awareness. And then you can just use the mind alone and kind of uh, recreate that sensation just by moving the mind. And that's a way to circulate energy through the orbit. And again, the more you practice this, the more effective it will be. But more importantly, the more you build up your chi by doing Don Tian work, the more chi you will have so that eventually it becomes pressurized you have enough yang chi in your dan tian to where you actually start to feel this electrical current happening, right? And if you're not feeling it, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. You always have chi circulating through your microcosmic orbit or you wouldn't be alive, right? But if you can't feel it, it just means the amount of chi, kind of the thickness, the, the, the pressurization of the chi isn't to enough of a level to where it's kind of amplified so that you will feel it, right? So I think that's an important thing to understand as well. You can be circulating your energy from the beginning, but you're probably not going to feel much until your pressurization, your chi, overall chi level is heightened, right? One last thing I want to share with you that I think can really put this uh, concept into a very obvious and tangible practice is I wanna share a hotspot with you, an energetic hotspot. This is very, very powerful actually. This is a huge training secret, honestly, that I'm dropping right here. And the more you, you work with it, the more potent and powerful it will become. So what you're gonna do is there's this energy point here at the center of the wrist crease it's called the Da Ling point. It's a pericardium point. So you can just kind of rub here with your thumb just to increase your awareness of it. But you're gonna hold your mind at this point and you're going to just hold your mind there. Right? You can do it on both hands, or maybe just start with one hand. And just kind of move your hand. So relax the hand, let it go kind of limp, and then gently extend the fingers, but without tension, and hold the mind on this point. Relax the fingers. Extend the fingers. Relax them. It's even better if you're like sitting on a 
to at a table and just rest your elbows so that your arms completely limp. So do this for a little while and just notice what kinds of sensations you start to feel. And then compare this hand to the other hand and notice what feels different, right? The dulling is an energetic power spot. It's an energy amplifier. It's kind of like the on switch for your energy. What it's going to do is cause this wave of chi to flow from the Dan Tian through the whole body circuit, really, and into the arm, into the hand, right? What you'll feel in the beginning will probably be a bit more heat or vibration in the palm itself or the dulling point area, right? But with practice and the more you cultivate, this will become a whole body phenomena where you focus here, move your hand a little bit, and you feel chi, you feel waves of chi coming up your legs, up your dantian, out to the hand, right? So this may seem very abstract right now, but if you work with it, you will start to feel something quite potent as your chi develops. And the reason I'm sharing this is because, again, it gives you something very practical. You start to understand, wow, I simply hold my mind here, and you're also doing this very you know, relaxed motion, right? And this is what Qigong is all about, is you're using movement not for the sake of movement, but as a sort of meditation for the mind. You're holding the movement itself, doing it in a relaxed way, forces your mind to be anchored in this area and you're holding specifically holding your awareness at this dulling hot spot and it starts to light up not just the hand but the, eventually the entire body so this may seem very abstract right now but if you work with it long enough you'll start to see what i'm talking about so it's really simple actually so again circulating energy is simply moving your mind through the body but in actual application it can become quite complex because you get distracted you don't feel anything right away so you get frustrated and you give up because you want something you know you want to just have a magic button that fixes everything for you you know, like a lot of us do in this instant gratification world, but it doesn't work like that with internal cultivation. It takes practice. It takes daily training. It takes time and discipline. Kung Fu, right? So again, work with this every day, this concept of moving your mind through your body. You can work with the orbit like that. A practical way that I'm going to recommend for you is for, for just overall energetic cultivation, spend some time every day using the Dantian breathing technique, which is in my other video. After you spend some time doing that practice, you start to feel the Dantian light up, sweep your mind through the pathway of the microcosmic orbit. And as you train over the months and years, notice what starts to change. It starts to become more and more and more potent, right? In the context of sexual cultivation, practice sweeping your awareness from the genitals up the spine maybe even down the front of the body as well, right? The microcosmic orbit. And whether you're unaroused or aroused, just play with that. Notice what starts to happen, just sweeping your awareness. Really, really holding your awareness in that point, anchoring the mind like water moving through the body, filling it up, right? That's energy circulation. And of course, from here, we can get a lot more complex. You know, you can play with other energetic pathways. You can play with circulating chi between your body and, you know, celestial bodies, <laughs> your partner, whatever, right? There's a lot of possibilities, but, you know, I think that's a, a good kind of digestible, hopefully, amount of information about the concept of circulating energy in the body and how you can truly do that. It's been my experience in the internal arts that the most effective things are often the most simplistic. Like, I didn't share any crazy technique with you in this video. It's simply moving your mind through the body. It's pretty simple, right? But it's deceptive in the beginning because, again, you don't feel much happening. So it's this repetition over time, over a period of time, building the inner chi in the dantian, moving the mind through the body to circulate it, building chi in the dantian, moving your mind through the body to circulate it. You do that, you know, for a year, two years, three years, and you're going to really, really get far in your practice. But if you get frustrated the first time you do it because, well, I tried it and nothing happened, you know, you're not gonna make it very far. It's just how it is with the internal art. So thank you for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed this technique. Again, if you really integrate what I've taught in this video into your practice, you will get very far in your training. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and leave a comment below. How did this practice go for you? Like, what have you felt as you start to put this into your daily routine? I'd love to hear. Have a great day. Thank you.